so good, you know. Sorry, Boosie. <laughs> Uh, he's so preoccupied. Yeah, he is. Very it's much almost so. almost like thou doth protest too much, little booze. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna look at You got a lot of dick on your mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, it's like, that out there. it's like Zaya and Lil Nas X live in his head. That's <laughs> great. So right? Like, what? It's like, sir. <laughs> um, something you want to just go ahead and tell us. This is a safe space. No, for real. We should be your sanctuary. Perhaps that safe space was not provided for him. And I don't think he had a safe he space. He did not have one. We could, we yeah. could definitely tell. Mm -hmm. Hey man, stay safe world, you already know what's going on. We gotta talk about the situation with Boosie and Gabrielle Union, man. This man basically went crazy on Gabrielle Union, their daughter Zaya Wade, D Wade, the whole Wade family, man. It's a crazy situation and a long time coming because this man's been speaking on them for a minute, man. We're gonna get right into it right now, but before we do, I'm gonna need y'all to like, comment, subscribe. We're gonna run up this video. Make sure y'all check out the merch. Link in the description at staysafeworld.com, man. So let's get into it. Yo, so this has been like a year, years long thing that's been going on and everyone's kind of heard about it basically boosie you know he has comments about the gay community and just trans people in general at all times so then when people respond this dude feels some type of way and emboldened to give a response back for i don't even know what reason because this man be talking out of pocket without anybody bringing it like he's not even a part of it or maybe he is we don't know man but he he just be inserting himself into the conversation man but basically gabriel Union sat down for a podcast and she said that maybe, 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 just maybe, this dude is interested in Dick himself because he's always inserting himself in conversations having to do with Lil Nas X, her daughter, just everyone in general that's gay. He's like the spokesperson for homophobia in the black community and shit. You know, a little bit. You know, it's not even like the dude has individual problems with these people. It's just he just hates them as a whole and shit. He even had that one skit where he called Lil Nas X the F word and shit. This dude has gone back and forth and over the line multiple times. Cause it's like, yo, you're not even concerned. Like, why are you so concerned about people that have nothing to do with you, you know? That's like my main question. So people have been saying for a minute that they think Boosie's on the DL because of the fact that he's always inserting him shit in stuff that has nothing to do with him, you know? But maybe, maybe he's not. Maybe he's just trying to, you know, uphold the black community. But he basically responded and he said, the whole world know I love women and the world know your husband loved dick. I hope you don't think blacks look at y'all like a power couple. They don't. I had refused to talk about y'all in interviews and here you go. Go bang him with that dildo and wait on a script, you little white girl. Man, this dude is crazy. He called her a white girl and said that D-Wade be using dildos and shit. Basically saying that D-Wade is a part of it and he's freaky. He's a freakazoid also. Man, that's a pretty wild statement, honestly. You know, Boosie, of course he's gonna say some ignorant shit like that. Honestly, we don't know. Maybe D-Wade is doing that. Maybe he really knows something that we don't, man. But honestly, regardless, I don't even know why this nigga concerned. My whole thing is, why are you so concerned? And the way that this dude went into graphic detail is kind of wild, man. Like, it's like, yo, have you been, like, thinking about that shit yourself? Like, how? Like, no one even brought up dildos and none of that shit. That was just him. So it makes me wonder, yo, did he, like, envision that? Like, is that a fantasy he has for D-Wade? I hope not, but it's like, bro, this dude is kind of wilding by saying that shit in graphic detail. Like, he's been thinking about it for a minute, man. And it's like, we, I mean, you, every time we see him in the news, besides the crazy shit that he'd be saying on the usual, he usually be talking about some homophobic shit. So it's like, why is it always his concern? You know, because it's like a long-standing thing that the people that be the most homophobic be low-key gay themselves, man. It's kind of crazy, but I really feel like the rap community is kind of weird for that shit because it's like the only community where it's encouraged to be loving your niggas and like be around your niggas all the time and shit like that. And basically not be around women and then they be like hella homophobic it's like bro y'all be around niggas 90 percent out of the day every time i see photos and videos of these niggas they be with like 30 niggas deep being like i love my niggas bro that shit is just crazy to me you know like we need to have a little bit of female energy in the vibes or else it's gonna be a little weird bro niggas 
really want a sausage fest like all the time like that shit doesn't that shit make you tired i would be tired of life if i was around niggas all day bro niggas don't be talking about shit man but hey let me know in the comments what y'all think about this shit because it's like honestly i feel like they both low-key out of pocket honestly like it's like no middle ground because it's like i mean she brought that up after like months like this dude hasn't really spoken on it in a minute but he do be speaking on it so it's like i don't even know understand how he can act like he could be dissing them when it's like yo he's the one that brought it up like nobody told him to bring it up like no one told him to be in interviews and shit talking about their daughter and shit like that man like that was all on his own accord like this nigga just wanted to do that himself bro like no one told him to do that shit so it's like i honestly don't understand why he even did it in the first place and then expected no response like what that doesn't even make any sense and she's not the only one that's been saying that hella people have been saying that he might be dl because he's always concerned about it when his name's not even brought up in this shit man but hey let me know what y'all think about this shit you think i'm tripping or you think that he's tripping or you think we all tripping man real safe safe shit y'all already know what's going on make sure y'all like comment subscribe peace